this is Peggy for CropStop.com and today I want to show you how you can make some adorable flowers. Wait till you see how we do these. There's just a couple of them that we're going to work on. And here's what I'm going to use. These are the new punches, relatively new punches from EK Success to make their dimensional flowers. So here's one. Here's the other one. I guess I could hold it this way. You could kind of see. Now I wrote the names on some of them. This one is called Dooley Petals. And this one was called Dahlia. And I think this one was Carnation. And this is the only one I haven't found out what the real name is. So I just call it the Pointy pointy Flower. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so we're going to use those. And I'm going to show you how I use those to make these adorable gift bags. Look at that. Is that too stinking cute? I just used it here. Oops, that one's kind of coming apart. I didn't glue it good. And then I just used a little, these are these glass balls that you get to go in your artificial flowers. And I wanted something big. A button would work, a big brad, which I'll show you later. And I made my tag match, so that's kind of cute there. And then I did this one. I was going to pull it off and show you how I did it, but there you go. That's that one. I love, this is my favorite, the little doily one. So that can be a cute baby gift bag. Some of the things else that I used on this, I used the Scott's Dry Adhesive. I did the quick dry because I wanted to hurry up and use my flowers. So we're going to use a little bit of that. For one of the projects I'm going to show you, I used some of uh, Claudine Helmuth's Studio Paint. I love her paint. We've talked about that in the past, about how creamy it is. I never have to stir it. It's ready to go. A little piece of dry there. So we're going to use that. And then I'm going to use some of the score tape. That's what I really like to use, especially when I did these flowers on the bags, because I wanted them to stick. Now, I will tell you this. When I first got these, I had this illusion in my brain. I was going to use these a lot on my cards. What I found is because they're so 3D, I don't know if the camera can see. Let me pull that off of there. Oh, it did come off. Good. They're very 3D. I don't know. What is that, about an inch? Thereabouts. Thereabouts. To put that on a card would really not probably be a really good idea. You could do it. I guess if you mashed them out, you could do it. I like them when they're full. Uh, because the, you're going to have to pay that postal guy a lot of money to send that bad boy. So I would think that these would work much better on, like, the gift bags. A topper for a gift bag would work. Let me stick that back on there so I don't lose it. Then wait till you see. So we're going to use the score tape. It holds it. And I'm going to just use some pearls for the centers. And then, look at this. This is my favorite project for, with these flowers. Is that too stinking cool? Wow. I love it. Love it. Love it. So here are the big brads. Here and here. And here is some of Claudine Helmuth's Sticky Back Canvas. And that's where I used her paints. And I spritzed, put it on there and spritzed it with water. Added a little bit of ribbon from, of course, Crop Stop. And a little bit of jute rope that I had. These are just uh, leftovers from a flower bush that I had. And I just stuck them in there. Is that too cool? That's going to go on my desk. Well, it already is on my desk. Let me show you how easy these are to do. Let's see. They all open the same way. In the back is a little dial, or I guess you call that a dial, I don't know, slide block, so that they're nice and flat to store. All you do is push that forward, and that opens it up. So there you go. I used a piece of cardstock and I just grabbed this out of the pile. That's 12 inches because I wanted to do a big flower. Now if you made it smaller, obviously your bloom will be smaller. But for this, for all the projects I did, I actually kind of stuck with a 12 inch. And you do this just like you do every other punch. You slide it in. I always start with my end down here. and bring this back into the screen here. So I start here and then you just press. Then you're going to line it up. And just press. And we'll do it. I'll show you the other way you do it too. Let me show you what I'm lining in case you've never done this before. They give you some really nice pictures here, and that's what you're going to line the one you just punched out and the last one, the last whole one, let me show you on here. Like it would be this one right here, is going to be a half. So that's where I'm going to line it up. I don't know if the camera can even see that, can they? That little half spot there? Anyway, that's where I want to line that. That way I know there won't be any spaces in between. And I'll tell you, I've done it a couple times and I've had the space in between. Oh, I just cut it out and went on because I didn't want to waste what I'd already done. So see, it's perfect all the way down. And you just would continue all the way down there. Now I've already done one so we could speed things up a bit. 
I did two different colors of paper. This is a heavier cardstock, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of liked it with the heavier better than the not so heavy. It just had more dimension to it, and it was firmer looking. But this is what I did. So what I did, two different ones. When you are doing this, a couple of folks have said they go ahead and they twirl it like just single. And then they go back and add the other one. My preferred ma method is to take your glue, and again I'm using the quick glue. Put you some little glue here. Well, come on out of there. Oh, for heaven's sakes, what's going on? Oh, well, I got a piece stuck in there. Well, now, let me get a pin and stick in there and see if I can get this unstuck. Okay, what I did is I just went, Steve handed me a straight pin, I stuck that in there. Normally, I keep one in there, but I don't know where it went. That way, it won't get stuck like that. Just put a very thin line of your glue, like so. And then you're going to layer these so that they're um, in between each other. So I'm going to start there. So that when I do this, I'll have a nice blossom look instead of just a bunch of pointy things. And again, I like this glue because just in a second or two, it will be dry. All right, let's let that dry a second and we'll be right back. All right, this is already dry. I had the Steve stop the camera just because I noticed how I had all this black ink stuff all over my fingers from a class I taught today. Oh, that was a mess. All right, now, some folks, like I said, they will take, let me reach over here, uh, camera here, they'll take the tip of a paintbrush and they'll start rolling, which is fine. You can do that. See how quick that is? Now, I do not go through and put little dots of glue here because I'm never sure exactly how tight I want my blossom to be. So, now that i got it going pretty well, I'll take that out of there. And you just wind it up. And that's what it looks like, like that. And then I think, I think I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue there. There we go. Give that just a second to dry. Then what I'm going to be going around and pulling the petals down. And because I've off-centered them just a little bit, see how neat that is? Yellow, yellow, green. So it works out pretty nice. And there it is again. So I'm going to have a very colorful flower. And you just keep doing that all the way around. Ta -da! And there is your dimensional flower. Now, when I get all finished, I usually will take, see how it's on the bottom, especially if I'm going to do it on there. I would take one of the big, um, what are those uh, glue gobbers? Remember those? You can put those on there, or you can just go ahead and put adhesive on a piece of paper and stick that down so that you now have your really cool dimensional flower. And how simple was that? Let me bring this back in. Here's the one right there. So I can flatten it out, or I can keep it three-dimensional. I could put some pearls in there. I could put a button, as you see. I put pearls, and then I took little bitty bling and put around this one to show up. There you are. That's all there is to it. So, make sure you get yourself some of these awesome dimensional flower punches over at CropStop.com and make sure to tell them Peggy sent you. Bye!